us are wrapped up in watching Team USA in the Winter Olympics, but there are things you can do with your own children that directly tie right into those games. Brianna Middlestad joins us from Red Door Pediatric Therapy to show us how we can connect what we see on our television screens into helping our children develop. Good morning to you, Brianna. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So you've got that nice sunshine <laughs> pouring in on the side of your face. You I say that it. there are Olympic type activities that we can do with our kids that help in several ways. Let's start out with the physical therapy part of it. How do you go about doing that? Yeah, there's quite a few of the Olympic Games that are tied into um, those gross motor physical therapy skills. Um, the first one would be the Olympic ring toss. So grabbing items that are the Olympic colors um, and then having bowls or um, Tupperware out and playing um, some some fun Olympic ring toss. That's, that's a great activity for kids. Kids always love to throw. Mm -hmm. And it tosses in a whole bunch of different colors as well. The other one you have is speed skating, one of my favorites. What do you mean by that one? Yeah, this one's super fun. Um, putting paper plates on a kid's foot, um, just taping them on there, um, putting cones or obstacles around the room, and then having a finish line. So getting the friends involved, um, see who can skate fastest to the finish line. Okay, one of the sports that I think is becoming much more popular mm -hmm. all the time, and that's curling, and you've got some suggestions for that as well. Yeah, curling is super fun. Uh, you can have the kiddos have bean bags or even just a balloon um, and use a broom uh, to use the to to scoot that across the floor and then um, push to the number lines at the other end. Absolutely. Now, obviously, temperatures are cold out. There's ice outside right now. Hockey, another big one. But you can kind of bring this inside as well for the little kids. Yes, you most certainly can do that too. Same same concept. So either using a, a pool noodle or a broom. Um, and have a ball or a balloon and create just a goal for the kiddos. Um, if it's even inside or outside, that's, that's great. Uh, they, can, they can do it in any location. I wanna see what your recommendation is for bobsledding indoors. <laughs> bobsledding is so fun. So have the kiddo sit on a blanket, uh, have a family member or a friend pull the blanket while the kiddo is trying to maintain an upright position. Okay. Work some of that core strength and stability um, and it just makes for a fun activity. I think the last one here is figure skating, and I could just see a bunch of little girls dressed up in their pretty outfits and glitter and sparkles, uh, kind of just twirling inside. Is that what you recommend for this one, or what else do you I, Yes, that's a great idea. Um, trying to have them mimic or um, copy a dance move that you do too really works on that coordination and overall balance. Okay, those are physical therapy aspects of it. Now let's turn it over to occupational therapy. Start walking us through some of those. Yeah, so we really focus on some of those fine motor sensory processing concerns with those occupational therapy activities. So painting Olympic rings is fun. Um, you can grade it by uh, having them use a paintbrush or they can use finger paint, which is really, really a great activity for those um, sensory processing skills. Uh, you can also paint a torch. Um, this could incorporate a variety of things, following directions, um, cutting out the torch, coloring the torch using uh, different colored tissue paper to tear and then glue it onto the torch is really fun too. So some little simple arts and crafts pretty yeah. much for the occupational side of that. We love that. And the other one here is speech therapy and you're not talking about listening to the commentators saying, yeah. go, 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 look at that, they're in first. You're talking about breaking it down a little bit more. Yeah, really with speech therapy, they're working on those concepts. So the concept of more, most, less, least is um, a little bit tricky for those kiddos or talking about first, second, and third. Um, that's really fun um, to see who's coming in first, who's coming in second, who may be third. You know, Brianna, if you watch any Olympic sports, one way or the other, you're gonna see some emotion. You're gonna see people just thrilled. That could lead to smiles and laughter or it could lead to tears. We've seen both. Talk about how emotion can be also part of that speech therapy. Yeah, some kiddos have a really hard time understanding the concept of emotion. So really trying to show um, the child how they're feeling. So saying, oh, look at that that um, gentleman. He looks really, really sad. He might be sad because he lost. Or that lady, she looks really happy. She must be the mom of the, the skier who, who just won. Um, trying to bring those concepts in so that they can see emotions of others and then start recognizing emotions within themselves. Absolutely. And then one last one here is kind of just following directions. Is that the case? 
that is the case. Many kiddos struggle with following more than one step direction. So um, first starting off with that one step direction um, and then moving to two. For example, uh, you are a downhill skier. Um, first place your feet together and then bend your knees. Or you're a sprinter, you need to stretch. Can you touch your toes and then swing your arms in circles? Um, that kind of correlates to that Olympic aspect. You know, we were talking during commercial break before you came on how cold it is outside. The beautiful part, beautiful part about all of these things that you've talked about, everything is suited to be done indoors. Mm -hmm. It is. It's great. You can do it outside too, but when it's cold and chilly like this, it's yeah. most certainly fun to do in in the inside environment. Also with your um, siblings or even peers or daycare buddies or whatever it may be, get the group together. Absolutely. Perfect. So Brianna, where can we find more information about Red Door Pediatric Therapy? Yes, you can go to our website, redoorpediatric.com. Uh, you can also call our office, 701-222-3175. Brianna Middlestead, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Stay warm. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you. Have a good weekend, Brianna. All right, stay with us. We've got much more coming up in North Dakota today right after this.